Valdez Pascua. Valdez Pascua. Also in Yaki, Dios en Chenea. God be with you. And answer, Dios en Chiocue. Answer, Dios en Chiocue. Dios en Chiocue. Claudia's dear song um, was taught to her by um, our compadre Pete. As far as anybody knows, she is the only woman who has learned the uh, the dear songs, and uh, you know so the whole sequence. And the uh, the idea in the in the songs, like here, this rendition of the um, the dear, <clears throat> like an example of the kind of poetry in there. Over there's a hill, and on the hill there's a flower. And on the other hill, there's the deer, and the flower is calling to the deer. It said, come over here, come over here and smell my flower. And the deer come over here and smell the flower, and then the flower bloom up here. And now the flower sings, do you see how beautiful the world is? That's the kind of poetry. Uh, a little bit of personal history. Um, I was a real youngster, young teenager, when I worked on the truck farms in Gardena, and that's when I first met uh, Yaki's. Uh, the name Yaki, however, is not a Yaki name. <laughs> the Yaki name for themselves is Yohemi, the, the old or the ancient or venerable people. How to get the name Yaki? Well, when the Spaniards came there, they asked, Donde vives? And, and uh, they answered, Yo aquí. So then I got to be yeah, Yaki. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I don't know, 40, 50 years ago, we became um, padrinos, padrinos of the Alvarez family in Guadalupe. Um, and uh, also, I was a uh, graduate student in Mexico, where my uh, graduate project was Mexican art history, and also came in contact with uh, Yankees there in Sonora, and so forth. So that's kind of a personal history there. We lived adjacent um, to the village of Guadalupe in Arizona, and we were invited in, and we became part of the family, and um, consequently, padrinos. And so that's, I don't know, 40, 50 years ago in that, in that way. <clears throat> uh, much different than what uh, Americans or whatever they are think who these people are is very mistaken, because they are not Aborigines. Um, their uh, nucleus, start is actually the Nile River. They are Egyptian Copts. They are Egyptian Copts who then had to migrate to uh, eastern Spain and settled there and learned the Iberic, uh, Celtic Iberic, and that's what the deer really is, <laughs> and so forth. So as they actually came from Spain, when the Spaniards came and asked them, where do you live? And they said, well, they answered in Spanish, you're key. So, <laughs> All of that. And our um, comadre uh, here, uh, Maria Alvarez, she gave us this little piece I have down here uh, that is featuring both a photo of myself with her and also Claudia with um, our, our child, our godchild in there and all of that. And this, this here, this is a, called a pascola mask. <clears throat> the Pascula is the uh, host of the fiesta, the ceremony. And this mask was made by one of the relatives and was in the ceremony there at the time and it represents Yochabato, meaning the, uh, the old goat, the divine goat. And the, uh, the cross on there is not a Christian, that's the sun. The sun is there. <clears throat> and here I made this in the appearance of the headdress, the Yaki uh, deer headdress, is the Maso. And this particular article, you know, has a name, Komadri made this, and it would be actually fitted into the antlers, the way I had the ribbons. So this is all, you know, very particular things here. So <clears throat> that's the way I'm just starting this uh, kind of an introduction of that. And I'm going to just start out with a little piece in my uh, Cisco Kid. Spanish? <laughs> Spanish English. Media noche en Guadalupe, cuando es capturado el animal, vive una temporada en el corazón de él. So midnight in Guadalupe, when the animal is uh, captured, I spent a little time in the heart of him. At just such hour, the mist walks, 
the fire and wind move. Mi cuerpo se irrigue, silencioso. My body is moving heavy in silence. Estoy con los viejos mirando. I am with old men watching. Escucha, escucha, el pascola. Hear, hear, the pascola barks clouds in his teeth, waves his tongue to wet his mouth opening. The deer jostle in the brush. One of them looks back to La Romana. The moon is high now. The king is old. El rey is vivo. So in the Romana, that is uh, down the plaza from the temple, <clears throat> All of these dances and these songs are going on and then they have a sequence and it has a sequence who have the, the full moon coming up directly east. They are shining a light down on the plaza. <clears throat> and as the songs are pro progressing through the evening to the midnight, and the midnight that's a special, a special song. And that's where everything changes and that's why now, you know, the king is old. What's going on there in the Ramada is a, a giant egg where the seed of the rebirth of the Cristo is taking place. That's what everybody is is watching. And now in the early hours that begins to yeast and form until you have the whole morning sequence that will awaken the birds from the eastern mountain all the way up to the Romano. And that so that's the kind of thing that's going on there. And here I want to say this is um, uh, Easter sense <clears throat> like that that I, I put together here. Put forth my hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. His cross is the living tree, forever blooms in the eternal patio. Savor the Savior Jesucristo, fruit everlasting of that true tree, where there he offers up his flesh and blood for our meat indeed and our drink indeed. Through that gate guards this flaming sword. His body in the garden grows and grows. La Señal de la Santa Cruz, a response eternal of his presence and participation in the agony of all living creatures. La Señal de la Santa Cruz, face to face, body to body, blood to blood. Man meets his maker in this image of mutual, mutual sacrifice at one minute. Birthing forth his eternal seed, I am his son, el sol, born in me. Gracias a Dios. Thank you.